This comes mm-hmm. from supporter Anonymous. He says, or she says, carbon dating is a well-established method and discrediting it would involve discounting most scientific theories and observations in physics, chemistry, and biology. Are you willing to be such a radical skeptic towards empirical knowledge? I'm not willing to be such a radical skeptic towards empirical knowledge, but I am willing to be such a radical skeptic towards the paradigms in which those are interpreted. Now, I fully agree that reinterpreting this, the young earth account requires a reinterpretation of a lot, lot more stuff than I think even most critics of creationism realize. For example, something Jimmy and I didn't even get into is the fact that we have to fit in the Tower of Babel and Ice Age humans spreading out all before Egyptian civilization begins to exist pushes Egyptian civilization quite a lot forward. So now we have to revise Egyptian chronology. And I think that the work, for example, of Donovan Corville has been suggestive of one way this could be done. Now, I don't want to get into Egyptian chronology. That would be a... Yeah, that would be a whole separate rabbit hole to go into that discussion. Um, But I will simply say that I fully agree that lots of our paradigms have to be reinterpreted. Um, But I think that I mean, a lot of these scientific fields are very young. They're what, a lot of these are 200, 300 years old. That sounds old to us, but that's very short within the span of human investigation of truth. And I think within 500, 600 years from now, we're going to look back at a good chunk of what we knew in science and say, oh, well, we actually didn't. We got a lot of this wrong. We maybe had some stuff right, but a lot <laughs> of this had to be reinterpreted. So I would agree that um, in five, six hundred years, we're going to look back and and say, wow, they they got a bunch of that wrong. But radioactive decay is not one of those things. We we've got that one down cold because we use it to make nuclear bombs and nuclear power plants. And both of those require a detailed, technical, reliable understanding of how radioactive decay works. So I don't think we can just throw water on radiometric dating and dismiss it. Um, My concern is that Gideon's position seems to be scientifically unfalsifiable. Um, It seems that the controlling factor for Gideon is his interpretation of the church fathers and his estimation of their level of relevance to this question. And that no matter, unless the magisterium comes out and just infallibly defines that, um, that the sources of faith don't require this, that Gideon is just, is, and, and people of similar thought, this is not personal to him, mm-hmm. but that people of his uh, persuasion um, are so convinced of their reading of the fathers and their estimation of the fathers on this matter, that they're not listening to either the magisterium or science and they're coming up with a scientifically unfalsifiable position. So it's not really worth even debating the scientific data with them because no matter what you propose, they're, they're gonna say, well, there's some unknown explanation for that data. I'm going with the fathers. And that position is contrary to the position the magisterium is taking at present, which I find problematic. I think we need to listen to both the magisterium and the science the magisterium has recommended. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.